Hi, I'm Lee Williams, the gun writer at the Herald Tribune, and this is a stun cane. It's a brand new product uh, sent to us from Archangel Industries. They are a California-based firm, and I like it. It's, it's rugged, it holds 350 pounds, and it does not look like a weapon. There's a lot of, couple of other stun canes on the market, and they look like stun canes. This just looks like a nice collapsible cane. It's also got some neat features. It has a key and a lanyard, and the wearer or the user simply straps that on their wrist, and then if somebody takes it away, the device will not fire. Now, they say it's 1.5 or a million volts, and uh, we're gonna put that to a test a little bit later. One of my colleagues has volunteered to, to let us stun him. So we'll see how it does, but uh, overall, it, it appears to be a well-made product. The little bit of issue with the glue in the handle uh, we're very humid down here in Florida. It seems to have let loose just a little bit. But I think for those who walk with the cane, it offers a really nice non-lethal option. I spoke to Glenn Wiley. He's the CEO and president of Archangel Industries. And he said he designed it for his mom, who's in her 90s now. She wanted some uh, protection in her home because she was concerned about home invasions in the neighborhood. And he came up with this. They also make a walking stick uh, that looks a little more a little more tactical than this, but this retails for $199.95 and it's a million volts and it seems to work rather well. So we're going to put that to a test now. Okay, this is my friend and teammate Michael Braga. Michael's volunteered to get stunned with the stun cane. How much do you weigh? 210 pounds. And you're about 6'1? Six, 6 feet. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, it's the only way to really see if it works. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to push this in here, then I'm going to give you a quick little burst. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Oh! Ah. That was one second. What, what do you think? You, how, how did it feel? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Would it have stopped you if, you if you're coming with aggressive intent, or would it have slowed you down? I don't think so. I think I would have, I think I would have needed more. That felt like a, like I was bitten by something, like a, a lobster or something like that on the on the beach or something like that. I mean, it didn't. <laughs> right. It right. didn't. Uh, it was it was more of the surprise than the uh -huh. than the actual pain. But no, I I just or it might have been a purple nurple or something. <laughs> but the, well, I didn't want to hold it on you too long. You want to do it again? I could do it again. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. But don't go too long. I mean, no, I, just won't, want to I won't go too long. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, we're not going to do it again. How, how was that? That was a little bit longer. It was a little bit longer. Um, it still, like I think I could keep, I could keep coming. <laughs> you know, so I feel moved, like I could it keep... It moved you right back, though. It, it moved me back. But... Um, and you knew this was coming this time. Oh, I knew they were coming both times. It, it really does feel like being bitten by something. Uh, they say it's like a punch. Was it kind of like a punch? It wasn't like a punch. It was more like it was more like uh, somebody had grabbed my skin and twisted it a little. Okay. Okay. Uh, it was more like a purple nurple. Well, I really want to thank you, uh, and I know my Am I readers, shaking? readers appreciate it. No, but you're very talkative. 